What do you know about San Marino? Well, to be honest with you, we don't know too much. We are aware that it's one of the microstates we are eager to visit during this trip. Previously, we visited Liechtenstein and now our goal is San Marino. But before we get there, we'll make a couple of stops on our way, like Milan and Rimini. You know, because Rimini is nearby and, by the way, there is no other option to get to San Marino via public transport. Oops, you already know a lot. Well, let's dig deeper and uncover even more and have some fun! Welcome to Italy, baby! <laughs> Finally here, we reached Milan. Here we do not plan to stay too long. Just get rest, finally shower, eat pizza, of course, <laughs> or pasta or whatever, and uh, move to our next destination. So quiet. So peaceful. You want to check out? Is in Italy, in Milan, you have drinkable water from the tubes? Yeah? You're drinking? It's good, yeah? Oh, okay. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Of course, we're eating in traditional Italian way. Croissant and cappuccino in budget-friendly place. Personally, I'm not a fan of Milan and the reason is simple. There is just not much to see. But if you are here like us, then a must-see is Duomo di Milano. It's not only a religious symbol, but also a cultural icon and important landmark of Milan. Oh, and its largest church in Italy and the fifth largest in the world, capable of accommodating up to 40,000 people. It's a really popular place to make a photos because it's... Um, it's a boutique place, unique. I don't know what to say tomorrow about this place. It's just like Instagram place. Next to it is the Galleria Vittario Emanuel II. Fancy shops, cafes and bunch of tourists. Boring. Milan is a typical big city where people live and do their daily task for a living. And while I think it has many things to offer for locals, it's not just appealing for us tourists. So let's get out of here. Famous Milan train station. And you know who built it? Yeah, famous dude Mussolini. All Italians know him. Okay, we need to buy a ticket. Uh, I don't see anything. So before we got to San Marino, we decided to stop in Bologna for a couple of reasons. One of them is that I always want to visit those incredible middle-aged skyscrapers. The two towers, Aisenelli and Garasinda. And yeah, I filmed only one of them because, you know, it's uh, 32 degrees outside and it's difficult to walk and film. Constructed in 12th century, those towering structures once served as defense fortification and prestigious symbol of power. Okay, let's try to get in. Bologna Tower. Well, for today, all tickets are sold out. Such a disappointment, uh, counting the fact that uh, we are here for a couple of hours and, well... Built in the Middle Ages and now recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Site, Bologna stretch over 40 kilometers, providing sheltered walkways seamlessly blend into the cityscape. So what's lovely about Bologna is that the entire city is for pedestrians. They managed to build those these kind of tunnels, and for us, as we forgot, put on us sunscreen cream. It's really good option. To walk around and uh, to do not worry about any negative effect which sun can bring it, bring it up. Before we leave, I must share the most main reason why we are here. And yeah, this is the main of the main In reason. Italy, as in many South Korean countries, they have a siesta thing. Siesta is like a lunch break, really hot during the day. They do not work during that time. And uh, if we will not eat lunch now, then we will not eat lunch. 
entire day. Dating back to the 18th century in the city of Bologna, this iconic sauce has roots in the hearty, slowly cooked dishes of the Emilia-Romagna region. It's a signature blend of minced meat, tomatoes, onions, carrots and herbs create a symphony of flavors that dance on the palate. Mmm, bello, bellissimo! No, let's try! It's so hot in the city. Luckily us, we found a heaven you know, in all this crowded city. Oh well, this uh, gorgeous park next to the train station. I mean next to it, it's like five minutes, but so it's almost next to it. And we drink the juices, aperitivo, and listen to this lovely song. You know, it's surrounded by local Bologna station. We finally got to the Rimni. Rimni, I don't know how to say it correct. It's a cute town next to the seaside. It seems that uh, Italians coming here for some vacations to chill, cozy houses. The main reason why we choose to come to Rimni is because uh, it's closest uh, town next to San Marino, and all buses operates to San Marino. It's exactly from here, so. Yep, that's the main reason why we are here. It's so many things happening here in Rimni. I mean, like, uh, we actually do not expect that it will be so crowded and so much people here. Like, on each corner something happens, like, a wow, kind of in such a cozy, typical Italian place. And probably there is issue of paying with a card. Okay, not easy. Yes, yeah. So in Rimni, if you don't know which beach party you want to choose, there is one and there is another one. And behind this one, there is one more and one more. The same there. One. Oh my God. Oh my god, Italians! <laughs> What's wrong with this country? <laughs> and it's like casual thing and folks are walking like like chill, like normal thing. Oh, oh yeah, like uh, it's a restroom. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's party. <laughs> to swim, but those folks be there. It's like okay to pee on the beach. Flick toilet. One dude peeing, another one. So, Captain, what's the plan? So now we're going to San Marino, right? Mm -hmm. How long we can stay there? However you like. I mean, when uh, the train to Roma from here? There are a few options. Don't bother me. So consciously, I'm walking here. I'm, I'm looking at the bus. It's like when you stay too long in Italy, you slowly become Italian and uh, you got me. To San Marino? Can we buy a ticket? Right. Cathedral kiosk. How long are you gonna stay here? 15 minutes. Right. Okay, grazie. You cannot buy a ticket with a card in a bus. You have to go to tobacco store or paper news and tobacco store. Two, Two person. person. Okay. One way. Return ticket on one way? One way. Uh, return. Anytime return, no problem. The last bus to Okay, so return as okay, well. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Orange and for 12 minutes. 
So till we are on our way to San Marino, let me share with you our second destination of this European microstates journey. San Marino, the fifth smallest country globally, was found by San Marinos in year 3001 AD. Covering only 61 square kilometer and home to around 33,000 people, it's among the old sovereign state and constitutional republics. And yeah, I did this drone shot when we got there, so let's make transition from this hot bus ride to already exploring part in San Marino itself. The bus from Rivni to San Marino takes more or less one hour, because it stops on each stop uh, on, its, uh, on its way. The country's medieval heritage is evident in its iconic towers, Guaida, Cesta and Montal, dating back to the 11th and 14th centuries designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2008. Beekeeping tradition, as you know, almost all my videos with Robert usually is about how we're getting to the highest point in some specific country. So guess what? We're continuing this tradition in San Marino. And now we're getting to the Mount Titano, which is... How tall is that? Uh, 750. 750 more or less. Well... Actually, it's 739 meters above the sea level, and this is us staring at drone. Hi! Hi! Look how small we are! Probably this is the highest point in San Marino. That's... Landscape. Which you can see from this point. There is somewhere in me. Yeah, it's beautiful definitely worth it to come to San Marino just on it to see this landscape. Italians, even in San Marino, Italians, it's like a uh, world heritage in Esco and yeah, look at this Italian. No shame, no nothing. But like any other microstate, San Marino is a separate country, not belonging to EU and with its own phone network connection. Luckily, at one point, the network connection from Italy caught our phones, allowing us to find out information about upcoming train to our next destination. And you know what happened next? That's right, we just ran. So now we try and catch our bus, that we could uh, leave early the city and get in time to round to our check-in and uh, go sleep early and save some energy for tomorrow in Rome. We were in a rush, have four minutes before our train gonna leave. So, I hope we're gonna make it, okay? So I went to the store to buy some drinks because we was running like uh, 20 minutes non-stop with all those bags. For the record, it's more than 20 kilos. So, good thing. Of, uh, late trains in Italy, that, yeah. If you're late, train as well late, and then it's like you're coming on time. Crazy. For us, we made it. Thank you, Italian friends, that you are always late, never on time. That's it. So, guys, traveling is not just about reaching your destination, it's about the journey itself. Each step we take, each new experience we encounter adds depth and meaning to our lives. San Marino was our goal, which we proudly achieved, but so many interesting things happen along the way. From Vienna to Liechtenstein, which you can find more about in previous episodes, to Milan, Bologna and Rimini, and there is much more to come in the upcoming episode. Thanks for watching, don't forget push likes, comment on what you like and didn't like in this video and subscribe, stay tuned for more adventures. Cheers, have a good one!